Check whether there are other electrical equipment in the surrounding environment, such as electrosurgical equipment, etc. These devices may cause interference. Power off these devices when necessary. Indoor temperature no lower than 18 degrees. To avoid damage interference caused by cold, the machine is available for 100 to 240 volts AC power. Plug the AC power. Insert gun. A socket with protective voltage is recommended. The cable interface is used to connect the ECG cable. RS232 interface and square port USB. It's for connecting to ECG workstation. USB interface is used for external storage and data transfer, etc. The network interface is used to connect the ECG workstation. SD card interface. It's for connecting a memory card. Insert the ECG cable into the cable interface. Tighten the knobs on both sides clockwise. Insert complete. Paper compartment pick. Press and hold to swipe to the left. Open. Check out the printer paper. Shred the printing paper into the printing paper shaft. Take out the paper reel. The paper orientation is as shown. Put the printing paper into the printing paper compartment. Close. Pay attention to the flush direction. Installation is done. Leads include six chest leads and four limb leads. Users can distinguish chest leads and limb leads by the color of the lead wire and the identification of the electro plug. Lead wire bands is forbidden. Connect the electro plug, electro socket. Connection complete. Make sure the electrodes are clean. Insert the electrodes into the electrodes according to the color. Yellow corresponds to yellow. Connection complete. Clinical use. Click the patient button in the upper left corner of the screen. Input patient ID. Name. Gender. With a pacemaker or not. Age. Set. Complete patient info input. Patient ID and patient name are displayed at the top of the screen. Watch the skin surface where the electrodes are placed with Celine. Place the electrodes on the skin surface. Green at lead to left foot. Red R lead to right hand. Yellow L lead to left hand. Clean the skin at the discharge electrode. Apply a thin layer, conductive paste evenly, to the edge of the chest electrode suction bowl. C1 to the false intercostal space on the right sternal border. C2 to the false intercostal space at left sternal border. C3 to the midpoint of C2 and C4. C4 to the intersection of the fifth intercostal space on the left side of the sternum and the left mid clavicular line. C5 to the left parallel to the anterior axillary line at the level of C4. C6 to the left axillary line at the level of C4. There should be a clear and stable ECG waveform after the lead connection is completed. Click the green print button to print. Acquisition time shows on the top of the screen. Start printing after collection is complete. Printing done.